Hey guys, welcome to Just Kurt Nature, where I take you along with me as I explore the natural world around us. Hope you enjoy and let's get exploring. So, last video we were right there. We could go that way or this way. So let's keep going, shall we? Beautiful day today. Ah, I just squished the mosquito that was on my finger. Ew, gross. <laughs> Sorry if I made the camera shake there for a bit. I don't want to get stung. Ooh, look at these flowers. These plants just like pop out within a few days when it starts getting warm again. It's pretty amazing. This region here, there's such extremes between winter, the coldest snowiest parts of winter and summer like this is not even full growth yet another month or so then you'll see a lot more th thick bushes and everything everywhere although i mean these types of areas because it's like mostly cedar trees and uh coniferous trees then it's soil is a lot more acidic here so probably not going to see much growth here but like in these types of areas yeah, look at that. It's like a freaking jungle. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, oh, that's such a cool view. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Capture that. There we go. I captured a snapshot of that. Sometimes it's like you just gotta explore and... Beautiful photo photographs like that just come to you, you know? When you least expect it, like even that, like oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's like the type of stuff you would see in artwork, you know? Like the mysterious gate to another world or something, you know? Like the gate to Narnia or something, I don't know. <laughs> no, not, not Narnia, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, what's around the bend? I love exploring these natural trails, especially when they like have bends in them and stuff or go up and down and it's like what's around the corner. It's so fascinating. You can hear a nice uh, robin there. I don't see it. It's so beautiful. Whenever I hear robins like that, that's when I know that spring is here. I mean, obviously we're past spring now, we're into summer now, but when the snow first starts to melt, when I hear a robin, that's when I know that well, not, maybe not when it first starts to melt, but when there's not much snow left, I should say. That's when I know spring is there. Here in Quebec, but also when I, when I was in Alberta, same thing. Look at those trees, isn't that cool looking? Uh, what are these trees called? Not birch, aspen. I think these are aspen trees. Some of the first trees to pop up in clearings or to start growing in uh, areas that 
that other plants don't really grow because they I heard that they actually remove <sighs> sorry mosquito oh my gosh so worn sleeves <laughs> um, what was I saying oh yeah uh, they remove toxins from the soils or something like that so they actually make it bearable for other plants to grow or maybe it's and I think they also create some of the first shade because coniferous trees tend to like shady areas more. That's why you see them more so in like the older growth forests. But deciduous trees can grow pretty much anywhere, especially aspens, at least in this part of the world anyways. Same thing in Alberta, I think. Alberta, Quebec. I would say Canada in general, but I don't really know to be honest. Especially up north, it's uh, quite different than northern Canada and southern Canada are completely different. I would not use the same comparisons for both. And like the west coast, like in British Columbia, and the east coast and the maritimes, completely different as well. Just the weather and because there's the Mount Rocky Mountains in the west that block the heat and uh, what's it called? I don't know. I, can't, I forget what it's called. Like the... There's a term for it. I forget. But uh, they block like the, the wind and the heat and the humidity from the from the west, from the Pacific. So that's why Alberta is so dry and cold in comparison. Although the summers there are pretty hot. Or can be. Oh, hey! Cool, I caught the butterfly. <laughs> Ooh. Bumblebee. Ooh, strawberries. Check these out. Wild strawberries. They're just everywhere here. Awesome. I might just be back later. In a month or two. I don't know how long they take to grow. Maybe in a month or something. Yeah, they're just everywhere. Oh, those ra these are raspberries too, I think. Raspberries grow like crazy. Once they start growing, they grow like crazy. Look at that. Isn't that a cool shot? Like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, note to self. Ah, mosquito repellent or long sleeves next time. <laughs> that's a note for all you southern people or I mean, not necessarily southern people. I don't know why I said that. I guess I was thinking, like, people from drier areas of the world. I don't know, warmer areas. Oop, I scared the bird, apparently. Oh, no, it's a chipmunk. Look at that little guy. Hello. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes, but that's okay. Yeah, he's just pretending like he's invisible. He doesn't want me to see him. Oop. Is it a squirrel or a chipmunk? Oh, it's a chipmunk. See the stripes on his back? That's a chipmunk. Pretty cool. I'm gonna leave him alone now. But yeah, uh, make sure to bring mosquito repellent or at the very least wear long sleeve t-shirts if you're gonna walk in areas like this, especially earlier on in the spring and summer. Like I think in the fall there isn't really any mosquitoes but like, right now we are end of June, or nearing end of June, 
this is like the perfect time for mosquitoes oh my gosh because it's like warm enough but still you know like humid enough and stuff and they're just eating me alive right now anyhow Oh, you can hear Merlin. That really high pitch, like, <laughs> don't know if I sounded anything like it, but I was going to end this video at 10 minutes, but I want to see if I can. Catch some more of the Merlin, maybe. <laughs> oh, I think that's it for now. Alright, guys. See you next video. Take care. Peace.